Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about artistic block. You know that point where it just seems like you can't make anything good when you've hit that wall. Many times I've seen the question asked, you know, how do you deal with it? And I wanted to give my opinion on it, how I deal with artistic block. And of course, we're all unique. Um, we all think and thrive differently. And the great thing about this social media platform is it allows us all to share our opinions in the comments down below. So share how you get over a block when you just can't seem to make anything good and you're starting to get maybe frustrated how do you deal with that situation before i give my opinion and how i handle it i need to thank you for taking time to check out this video in the patreons of this channel without your views and their support i wouldn't have motivation to make content almost every single day push my dreams forward and i can't thank you enough for that motivation jumping back to the concept of hitting a brick wall with creation and what to do about it i'm pretty sure everyone who makes anything whether it be music um, drawings painting sculptures whatever you do i'm pretty sure everyone hits a brick wall at some point within their creative journey where they're just not doing anything good or at least it feels like everything they're doing is just complete garbage and i really do think the worst thing you can do at that point at least for me in the way my brain works is keep pushing to the point where you keep getting frustrated in my opinion if you're getting to the point where you are frustrated if you've you know, maybe failed that many times and you're just feeling like nothing is working or it feels like a chore to come up with anything creative, sometimes just stepping away is obviously the best thing. When you reach that point, sometimes pushing too hard just makes the situation worse. You're just, you know, you're throwing more pressure on yourself. I really feel a lot of the time it's best to just step away at that point. Maybe not just completely stop working on music, but definitely don't push so hard. Just jump into other hobbies of yours, go out, enjoy some out nature, just do other things and just kind of let concepts come to your mind naturally and maybe approach it a week later. Another thing I really like to do is kind of, I pull the lever back a little bit, maybe not push so hard, but just lightly dabble in it. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'll turn on a synth I know that has a bunch of presets I really, really love and just play sounds and just get lost in sounds. And maybe do that for 15, 20 minutes a day, just playing the keys, not do any sequencing, not put any pressure on myself, just turn on something and play and enjoy the sounds. And, I, and when I do play something that influences me enough to actually turn on that sequencer, that's when I start. A lot of times I'll take that approach. I'll throttle back a little bit and just dabble and let the inspiration come to me via the sounds. At that point, you've throttled back the pressure on yourself. You're not expecting yourself to make this crazy stuff. You're not expecting good results. You're just turning on the keyboard. You're just playing sounds. Sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves, we end up hindering our momentum forward. So many times in this lifetime, we become our own worst enemy and in a creative block that can really happen to an artist. And then honestly, it just gets worse for an artist because most true artists are going to get depressed if they don't create. If they're not creating, they're not going to feel good. Healthy creativity actually affects people a lot more mentally than I feel society accepts or even will take knowledge of. So for a person who's highly creative and really depends on creativity as almost their leverage to happiness in a sense, it's like their way of releasing all this stuff. When you can't create and you start getting frustrated at your creation, in my opinion, forming healthy habits on how you recover from that will make your life a lot better because you're gonna be a lot more emotionally in control because you won't be getting frustrated at your creative outlet. So if you realize that creation is an important part to your emotional state, I feel it is very healthy to build these habits and find a process that's healthy for you when you hit these blocks. My method is very, very simple. Throttle back, um, stop sequencing, stop getting complex, stop caring about all the fancy stuff, just play sounds and get lost in the synthesis. Don't push yourself. And when something comes and you get that motivation, you get that spark, thrive off that. Once you, pull out, once you pull out of that slump and you play that sound you love, you turn it into a sequence, that sequence turns into a song. That's the important part, getting to that point again. As I stated, this is just my method. How do you deal with artistic block when everything you make is garbage and you're getting frustrated? Would love to know it. 
And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other. In peace.